<laughs> I had a little mishap there. Anyway, it is uh, time for you to be brave. It is so time for you to be brave. Um, okay, this is better. It said I was live for like 13 minutes. So if you watched me live for 13 minutes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, as you can see, I'm fired up. Uh, it is really time for you to be brave. Uh, all of you who have been watching, um, again, this the more you guys give me feedback, the easier it is for me to come up with videos. Um, and it feels like endless at this point. Like I have so much stuff going on because you guys are feeding me with so much information. Um, I can't tell you how happy these past three days have made me to be able to be here with you and just be myself. And um, this is uh, definitely uh, me being brave, right? Uh, so it's time for you guys to start being brave. Now, a lot of you have reached out separately. So, um, and you all have some kinds of difficult situations. Um, you have so much going on, so much that you're afraid of, right? Now, I am a, a terrified person, right? Just by nature, okay? Just like terrified of the outcome, terrified of, um, you know, what, how situations are going to work out. So, I am that overthinker, like somebody who, you know, uh, will think about doing something, right? And then I'll think of e thousands of worst case scenarios, right? Thousands of them. They just like pop in my brain, right? Like I have a very visual brain. And um, some of you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? You you go to do something. It could be as simple as the freaking laundry um, that you're like, oh God, like worst case scenario this, worst case scenario that, all this stuff, right? But when it comes to big decisions, it's extremely difficult for you to make a decision, right? Because you can't get out of your head. You can't get out of your head about the possible outcomes. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, the, the show The Good Place with Kristen Bell. If you haven't, go, watch it. It changed my life and we're gonna talk about this in more ways than one. Anyway, there's a character on there and his name is Cheedy. Um, and he has really hard time, like a, like a difficult time making decisions and it ruins his life, okay? Uh, because he weighs the options of things logically, right? Um, to an extreme, so much so that it, it causes him like immense amount of anxiety, immense amount of stress, immense amount of uh, devastation, right? And it actually causes issues with his friends and family and causes them anxiety and all these different things. Um, so anyway, I, uh, since I watched that, I consider myself as cheaty, right? So uh, with GD, he uh, has difficult making these decisions. So if you are a person who lives up here, right in their head and they're, uh, you're going through, I'll give you an example. You have a, a job that you might want to apply to, right? And you're like, okay, well, I'm not really qualified for this job. What if I don't get this job? What if I do get this job and it has too much responsibility? What if I don't like this job? What if I don't like the people I work with? What if I'm not good at it? What if I'm not that? Blah, blah, blah. So you spend hours in your head. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, right? And you never apply for the job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you do, and then you don't hear anything, right? Um, uh, you could have, uh, where you need to have an open conversation with somebody and you're in your head and you're like, okay, well, what if this person says that? What if they say this? What if they reject me? What if they deny me? What if they, um, think I'm weird? What if they think this? What if that happens? What if this happens? Right? So most of you are in your head thinking about every worst case scenario, right? Um, and that is sort of just something a lot of us do, right? Worst case scenarios. And we spend a lot of time in our head being indecisive about things. Okay. Um, and we don't actually step forward and say, you know what? No, I'm just going to do it, right? And like whatever the outcome is, it is, right? We just spend hours contemplating what the heck is going on, what's going to happen, right? Um, and so then we don't do anything. Um, or we sit with more anxiety, which is even worse, right? Um, so for those of you who have real bad anxiety or procrastination issues, you're like cheaty. <laughs> Too many things going on inside your head, right? So first things first, you got to get out of your head. All right. Um, as someone yesterday had asked, like, how do you let go of a situation or let go of the outcome of a situation? So we're going to talk about that today. Um, and that starts with being brave. Um, there, there is this book, um, I haven't finished reading yet. It's, it's called Brave Not Perfect. Definitely go pick that up. Um, and there is this other book, if you guys are into spirituality or things like that called Witch. It's, it's, it's more of like a woman's empowerment book. Um, 
but it talks about women being brave. Now, if there are men on like this goes the same for you, um, it's just to understand how you can step into being brave, right? How you can let go of these indecisive decisions, right? And just go for it. Um, so I'm gonna give you some examples from my own life so that you can understand where I'm going with this. How much being brave is important to your progression as a person, your soul's progression, right? Your um, who you become, right? And then who you um, realize you are, right? Because from being brave, you figure out what you are truly capable of doing, right? Um, from having courage, from being open and vulnerable, you you figure out who you are as a person, right? And what you're truly capable of. So um, before I go into my stories, let's talk a little bit about being obsessed with an outcome of a situation, whatever that situation is. Maybe you're gonna have a talk with a family member, a friend, um, maybe you're applying for a job or job interview, right? And you're so, you want something, right? So you know what you want. Well, that's another thing we'll talk about, getting clarity over your manifestations, but you know what you want, right? You know that you want the job, you want the guy, you want the girl, you want the the money, you know, you want the uh, happiness, you know what you want, right? And there's a decision that needs to be made of whether or not <laughs> this is going to work out for you if you take this step, right? So you have to call the person, you have to apply for the job, you have to sit down with that person, whatever you've got to do, right? And you feel the sense of, okay, well, if I do that, then what happens, right? Then what happens? Shit, what if this goes wrong? What if that happens, right? So you're attached to the fact that this is what you want and it's possible you're not going to get it, okay? And it causes so much pain and so much panic that um, sometimes you manifest <laughs> things negatively, but mostly that... Um, you can't move forward with something. Like it causes you distress. So when you detach yourself from this outcome, so let's say you want this job and you go and you go to the interview and what's the worst that's gonna happen? You're not gonna get the job, right? Then what's gonna happen, right? So so what you played out in your head is I'm not gonna, I might not get this job. Okay, then what, right? Okay, so then you don't get the job. Well, this is your dream job. You need this job. You have to have this job, right? This is what you've wanted your entire life, okay? So what you need to do to detach yourself to the outcome is face your fear like we talked about in the other video, right? Face your fear, okay? So what if you don't get this job? So what? I'll be distraught. I will feel helpless. I won't ever want to go for a goal again. I won't want to apply for another job. I won't have any money. I won't have this. I won't have that, right? So face all the fears that you have. If this does not go the way you want and you don't get this job, okay, face them, right? What are all these things that are going to happen, okay? Then I want you to look at something else. So once you face all these fears, I want you to get to the point where you say, so fucking what? So fucking what? So what I don't get the job and I feel like shit and I feel distraught and I don't want to do anything and whatever. I did it anyway. I did it anyway. Okay. I took a leap. I was brave. I had courage, right? So I want you to focus on what you did that you probably wouldn't have been able to do, right? So you're like, oh, I don't want to apply for this job. I don't want, I don't think I'm good enough, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you applied anyway. That is brave. That is, that is courageous. That is you stepping into your strength, into your power, right? That, that you were like, I'm going to do this anyway, even though it scares the shit out of me, even though I don't know the outcome of the situation, okay? And then you, you said, okay, shit, what are the outcomes? Oh my God, these are terrible outcomes and I feel like shit, blah, blah, blah. And then I want you to say, so fucking what? So what? So what if it didn't work out? So what if you feel like shit? So what if this happens, right? Oh, I just lost my connection up here. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I guess I'll just stay here. Um, okay, so so what if this doesn't happen, right? I want you to realize you did multiple things right now. You, this is all crazy here. Um, you allowed yourself to step out of your comfort zone. You allowed yourself, like right now I'm, I'm fully stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm like, shit, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway, right? You're doing it anyway, okay? That is a win-win situation. So no matter the outcome, whether you get the job or not, <clears throat> excuse me, 
you get the job or not, it is a win-win situation because you have learned something about yourself. You have learned that you are courageous, that you now will take more action. You'll go, why does the phone ring every time I'm on here? That you will now take action, that you will now go into um, you know, what you want. You'll go towards what you want. So even though you might fail at something um, or what you consider failure, and we're gonna talk about that, um, or it doesn't work out, you are yourself. You were like, you told yourself and the universe that you are worth this job, right? You are worth having more money. You're worth having a better relationship. You're worth having, you know, more friends. You're worth something. You put yourself out of your comfort zone, right? The only way that you're going to be truly happy and truly excited about life and truly fulfilled is when you step out of your damn comfort zone, okay? I don't, I like I don't like change, right? I, I, we, we don't like it. We want to hold on to it. We're like, nah, we are not changing. We, we don't want to try to go for this job, try to go for this person, try to go, uh, you know, get this or get that or what we, we're afraid of what is going to happen. You need to let go of the fear of what's going to happen. It's a win-win situation no matter what. If you want to start a business and you're afraid of what's going to happen, just start it. If it's something that calls to your soul, if it's something that's like, I just feel like I have to do this. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to try this. I've always wanted to be this person or do that thing. And you haven't been able to just step out of your comfort zone. It might fail. It might fail miserably. You might feel terrible. You might feel distraught. You might but you did it. You did it, which means you can do it again and you can do it better and you could do it different way and you could do something different. Okay. If this is kind of confusing to you, I'll give you some examples. So I was, um, I left college and I was like, I'm going to, uh, run a, uh, wellness center, right? Like that was my dream. I graduated a sports and exercise, uh, physiology degree. And I was like, I'm going to run a wellness center, right? And anyway, I started, I jumped from job to job, became manager, so on and so forth. I came to an impasse in my life where I was like, okay, I have to make a decision. I have two decisions to make, okay? I can go for my dream job, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get, or I can go back to school. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to school. So finally, I had to make a decision, okay? I had to weigh it, right? Just like Chidi, weigh the decisions. And I was like, okay, well, you know what? If I don't get the dream job, like, so what? I'll do something else. But I was devastated that I, because I went for an interview for my dream job and I didn't get it. And I was freaking devastated. And I was crying and I was like, I can't believe I didn't get my dream job, right? And instead of cowering in a hole and being like, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me, right? It definitely felt like the worst thing. Um, I said, okay, well, what can I do now then? What's, what's another option, right? So whenever you fail at something or something doesn't work out or doesn't go according to your plan, right? Remember the universe has a much larger plan for you, right? Even if it's failure after failure after screw up after screw up, it, it has a much larger plan for you that you can't even see. It's, it's totally working behind the scenes. So I didn't get my dream job, right? So I decided to go back to school and in the meantime, guess what happens? I'm in school, right? Paid all my money and they, my dream job called me back and said, hey, we wanna offer you the position. And so I had to decide, okay, well, what do I wanna do now? Well, what I realized was that what my dream job was um, wasn't really what I wanted. It was like 85 hour work week, like weekends, holidays, stress, like managing like an entire facility. It was, ex I, I, after I thought about it, I was like, this is exhausting. Like, I don't want to do this. I had talked to another manager that was like, you can't have kids. You can't have a family with this. Like you'll never be home. And I was like, oh no, this is not for me. So what, what that, that, kind of mishap led me to realize was that like this really wasn't for me even though it came back right it really wasn't for me and then I went to school right and then I was like gung-ho I was like I'm gonna be a PA right PS if you want to be a physician assistant it is extremely difficult to get in um anyway I did what I had to do I got I I became a nurse aide you know I, I went to school I applied I spent like two years applying almost three years applying and it was, I was applying so much that I was going to be out of state, right? Now, I had just gotten married at some point, I think, during this. So, um, you know, my husband was like, well, what are you going to do if you move out of state? I was like, we're going to make this work because I want to do this, right? So I was brave and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go and I'm going to figure it out. And I applied and I applied and applied. And guess what? 
I didn't get in. I didn't get in. I was devastated. I was freaking devastated. I was like, I spent all this time, all this money, and I didn't get in. Devastated. Now what the hell am I going to do with my life, right? Uh, so so what, I, what I'm getting at, and I'll tell you how this ended up, but is that I took something that I wasn't sure was going to work out. I didn't know the outcome. I know what I wanted the outcome to be, but I didn't know the outcome. And I took a risk. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so what if it costs me some money? So what if it takes me some time? I'm just going to go for it. That is bravery, right? That is that is putting yourself out there for something um, and saying, hey, I'm going to be brave today and I'm just going to do this, right? So the, the outcome, it may not be what you want, right? So in two cases, I didn't get what I wanted. Well, guess what happened after I didn't get into PA school? A month later, I was pregnant. So... The universe obviously knew I was going to be pregnant and was like, this isn't for you, right? Being a PA, PA school is a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of whatever. And so it worked out in my favor that I didn't have to go. I didn't get accepted to a school that was in like Virginia and I was going to be pregnant and raising a child all by myself, right? So as you, as I went through this, I was like, shit, like, okay, well, this might work out. I was still devastated because I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Um, but it gave me an opportunity to be like, all right, well, this is it. Like, what what am I going to do now? This is the answer, right? This is how it's worked out, and I'm just going to go for it. Now, what I did in the meantime, which is what I want you guys to do, is look back on your life of all these situations, sort of like I talked about, where things didn't work out according to plan, right? Or they didn't go the way that you wanted it to go. And I want you to find the gifts, right? My business coach used to ask me, what's the gift in this? I'm like, in a terrible situation, I'd be like, I hate you. I don't know. I don't want to look for the gifts in this. I'm miserable. I'm angry. I'm pissed. I'm not looking for no freaking gifts in this situation. But for real, look at the gifts in the situation, right? So I didn't get my dream job, right? So so you don't get your dream jobs. You applied for it, right? There was a gift in what you did, right? Um, there was a gift that I learned, right? It's something I learned. The gift is what you learned or an experience that you felt or something about yourself that you didn't know was possible inside you is possible. So the, the gift that I got from you know applying for my dream job is I applied to a job I was definitely not qualified for and I got it eventually, right? <laughs> right, but I also learned that I didn't wanna work like a 40 hour work week. I didn't wanna work weekends and holidays and things like that. Like I learned that. I was like, I don't wanna do this, right? Then with my other situation where I went to school, like I took a leap of faith. I went back to school and did science. Like, uh, like what? <laughs> anyway, I went back to school and I went for something. Again, I really wasn't qualified to do, but I was like, you know what? I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to figure it out. Like this sounds like an awesome career. Um, and I'm willing to take the time and energy to put into it, right? So what I learned, what the, what the gift is, is that I was willing to be, you know, determined and persistent and self-reliant. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go and do this, like without worrying about what the outcome is, right? So then when, um, after I got pregnant and things like that, and I was all upset, right? It's, it's more so about, I'm losing my train of thought here. It's more so about Taking the risk no matter what it is. Taking the risk and learning the gifts. So you want to be able to tell yourself, yes, I'm going to go for this. Yes, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to be unattached to the outcome because no matter what happens, I'm going to win. I'm going to learn something about myself. I'm going to learn something about other people. I'm going to learn what I'm worthy and deserving of, right? I'm going to learn something amazing. And then not only are you going to learn something amazing, but if it does go the way that you wanted, then obviously that's a win too. So no matter what situation that you're weighing inside your head, right? What decisions you have to make, you're so worried about the outcome. Whatever the outcome is win-win, right? Um, so I know one of you reached out to me um, and you have to have uh, a difficult conversation with your girlfriends, right? And you're feeling anxious about something and you're worried that she's going to leave you, right? Or that she's, um, so something's going to happen, right? And that was a really real fear that you had. And, you know, I talked to you a little bit about this, this fear of, you know, what, what's going to happen, right? And well, what if she does leave you or what if she doesn't? Um, love you or what if she doesn't um, 
you know, show up the way that you want or support the way you want, right? So when you go have this, before you have this difficult conversation with her, um, what you want to do is be able to just say, whatever happens, I'm going to win, right? So let's say the conversation doesn't go well, right? Let's say she does decide that this isn't what she wants or whatever, you know, okay, so she decides that and you realize you guys aren't meant to be together, right? You, you, you figured that out, right? So that's devastating, right? That's devastating. Um, or maybe it is the way that you want and she responds the way you want, right? And she says, hun, it's okay, no problem. We can do this together. Or maybe she has ideas about things, right? Um, so either way, the conversation is win-win, right? Always focus on that. Win-win, when you have a conversation with somebody, when you apply for a job, when you're trying to manifest something, no matter what, it is win-win. When you are also trying to um what's the word uh figure out what what the outcome is going to be always tell the universe that you want this specific outcome or something better right so that even though the outcome may not be what you want something better has to come in for you it has to it's it's just the it's the laws of the universe it has something better has to come in so you will always win no matter what. So you will win something, win something. You will either get what you want or you're eventually gonna get something better. Something is going to move out of the way so something new can come in, right? So when I didn't get into the school, um, that had to fall away so that I could be pregnant, right? That that had to do that, right? Um, when I didn't, um, when I didn't get in, uh, get in, when I didn't get my dream job, it had to move I and then school came in, right? So things came and went and that's really the cycle of life. So trying to attach yourself to the outcome of something, it, it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you be brave. It doesn't help you to, to do what you want to do, right? It, it doesn't help that situation. So um, worry, don't worry about the outcome. Focus on that no matter what happens, you're going to win. So when we're being brave, I know a lot of you have, after a couple of the videos, have reached out saying like, you inspired me to go back to school. You inspired me to talk to my girlfriend or my boyfriend or my family members. You inspired me to do this. This is great. This is your bravery, right? This is where you finally, it's kind of like I'm giving you a confirmation that like it is safe for you to go for what you want. It is safe for you to do that. And in fact, you're worthy of what you want, right? You're deserving of what you want, but only you can decide that that's what you want for yourself, right? If you want that better job, you got to go and get it. You, you can't just wait for it to like drop in your lap. You have to go and do it, right? If you want that relationship to work, you have to go and, and make it work. You, you can't just let it fall into your lap. If you want a relationship, you can't just let it fall into your lap. You have to go and get it. If you want a better relationship with your parents, you have to go and get it. You can't just let them come to you. you. You have to go and do these things. You have to take action. And taking action is easier when you are unattached to the outcome, when you're unattached from the situation, when you're unattached from whether it's going to go well or not, or whether you're going to be devastated or not, or feel guilty or not, right? So so becoming unattached is is the best thing you can do for almost anything. Excuse me. So become unattached to the outcomes. Step into the idea that there are infinite possibilities of things going right for you. When you're stuck in your head like Chidi and I, <laughs> on all the negative possibilities, right? You can't even see the billions of possible positive situations, right? And outcomes. So I want you to find a way, like, and I hope I you hear my voice at some point when you're going through decisions like this. Instead of focusing on thousands of negative possibilities of happening, like, I want you to start asking yourself, what if things go right? What if they go well? Like, what if it works out better than I imagined? What if it's what if it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different possibilities and outcomes, right? Not what if it's gonna be doom <laughs> or all negative things, right? You want it to be, what is the positive? Like, what if this goes amazing? What if this goes awesome, right? So I'll give you an example with this radio show. Like, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have no idea. And I can think about all the negative possibilities, right? That this isn't gonna work out, that I'm not gonna make money doing this, that nobody's gonna watch, nobody's gonna care what I'm gonna say, nobody's gonna do whatever. But I have this 
call to do something like this, right? So I can't, I'm, I stop denying that I have this call. I, there's a call in my soul, I can feel it. So I just stepped forward and said, okay, well, let's follow this call just like I did when I wanted my dream job, right? When I wanted to uh, go back to school when, uh, and then moving forward when I wanted to start a business. It was just a call to do something. And I was like, this feels really good for me right now in this moment. It feels really great. So I'm going to move forward with it, right? And and think about all the possible positive outcomes, right? Not that this is going to fail before I even start. So with this show, you know, it's possible. I could love to do this as a hobby. I could get paid for it. I don't know. You guys could listen. You could love it. I have no idea. What matters is it feels good for me, right? And this feels good for me in this space and time. It may not feel great for me in a year from now. I don't know. But right now it feels really good, right? When I started my business. So think about all the things that you did in your life where you felt like you did something brave, right? You stepped forward. You you took an action on something that you weren't sure if it was going to work out, right? And if you look back, you'll notice that even if it failed or you were devastated, like it worked out for your highest good, right? So you can use my relationship with my ex, right? I jumped into something um, that which wasn't so great, but at least I jumped into it, right? Um, and what came out of it was lots of heartache and lots of shit, but also lots of love and beauty and a son. And, and all these wonderful things came out of a freaking shitty situation. But I had to do what was right for me in that moment, right? And take that leap of faith and say, you know what? I'm going to open my heart and hope that I don't get hurt, but I can't, I can't, I can't know whether or not I'm going to get hurt or not, right? Um, I can decide what my feelings are, right? I can I can be in control of whether I get extremely hurt or not, right? I can be in that kind of control, but I can't control the other person. I can't control their outcomes or the outcome of our situation or things like that. Like it's just not possible. Um, but what I can do is see that it was a win-win. So even though I was, it was devastating and it was abusive and it was, uh, you know, mentally abusive and, and toxic, like that made me who I am today. It showed me that I deserve better, right? It showed me I deserve real love, not, not fake love, right? It showed me that I could be a great mom, right? It showed me that I need to start taking care of myself, right? It showed me that I got to start going for my dreams and stop worrying about other people. So in the end, I won. It was a win-win situation, right? So what that 12 years of my life went by and, you know, <laughs> it was shitty. But there were a lot of great times too. So when you, you focus so much on you know, all the negative, right? Some of you have left really bad relationships or really bad jobs or you lost your job or you got fired or something like that. Like you're focused on all the wrong things, right? That you're unworthy or you're undeserving or you're a terrible person or you suck at this or you suck at everything. Oh, you have all these flaws, all this shit happens, blah, 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 blah. And you're pulling yourself down. Stop pulling yourself down. Lift yourself up a little bit. Like you did something brave. You tried something new. You learned something. All of those skills and things that you picked you picked up along the way is going to help you in the long run, right? It's going to um, take you to be the person that you are meant to be, right? That That's just what it does. So when you're going through this difficult time or you're trying to make these difficult decisions, like change your perception, change your perception of life and what you are experiencing and how you are experiencing. Find the gifts in things, in even the worst case scenarios, right? And and if you're go if you're struggling to make a decision or you're struggling to open up or something like that, like take the leap. Like what is the worst that's going to happen? It's going to suck, right? But what if it's great? What if it's great? What if it works out better than you can ever imagine? What if all these negative possibilities that you think in your brain are actually positive possible scenarios? I'll give you an example. I learned this awesome technique. Um, and I don't know if you guys know anything about quantum physics or quantum reality or things like that. I'm not really great at it, but I'll try to explain it to you. But basically, we live in a multiverse, right? So there's multiple universes, uh, versions of ourselves happening in different universes, right? Based on different decisions we made and things like that. So the the um, practice is that you find, let's say you want to get this job, right? In, in another multiverse, there's a version of you that has this job, right? 
or there's a, if you want happiness, right? Or you want a relationship or you want love or something like that. There's a version of you in a different universe that has what you want. So what you have to do is close your eyes and find that version of you in an alternate reality, right? And you can actually see it. It's, it's pretty vivid actually. Um, so close your eyes and find some time to find that version of you that already has the job, already has the man, already has the girl, already has the good relationship, is already happy, is already fulfilled, is already, find that person for whatever scenario you're looking at. And you can actually talk to that person, right? It's like, what, what do I need to do to become you? Or what do I need to do to have this outcome? And start listening to that person it might say that you need you know more persistence you need to be more determined you need to take a leap of faith you need to follow your heart you need to do your passion you need to do whatever and listen to that version of you because that version of you is already experienced whatever you're experiencing right so what it's teaching you to do is to develop the uh, I don't know if the word is characteristics or personality traits that align with that version of you, right? That align with the version of you that you want to become, right? Because we're all in essence trying to be happier, right? Have more love, have joy, uh, you know, be excited for life, be fulfilled, uh, feel free, things like that. So find that version of you in the multiverse, right? And, and ask it, what does it need you to do to become that version of it, the version of you rather, and start doing those things, right? So like for me, um, my the best version of myself is somebody who uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched The Good Witch on Lifetime it's really good if you don't um, but she has like heightened intuition and she lives her life based on feeling right feeling into things um, listening to her her inner intuition and guides and she just flows throughout life and it's effortless right like she she manifests things easily. She goes places easily. She meets people. It's all about synchronicities and things like that. Like that is my ultimate goal in life, right? So what I did was find that version of me in an alternate universe, right? Multiverse. You just close your eyes and look for that person. And you ask that person, what do you need me to do to become you or vice versa? Or how, what do I need to do? Like, how can I walk in your shoes? And then you listen to those answers and you follow through, you follow through. So if that person says apply for the job, talk to that person, go there, go here. You wanna be so in touch with that version of you, developing all of those um, you know, characteristics, right? The, the personality traits that you need to align to that version of you because you everything that you need or everything that you want is already inside of you, right? Uh, the outcomes, the situations, things like that, what you need, it's already within you. You don't need somebody on the outside to tell you. You need a version of you to tell you that you are capable of something, right? Like you are brave. You are persistent. You are determined. You are motivated. You are this, right? So it's almost like a confirmation of, of something that you like have been not denying about yourself, that you have these qualities, right? That you are worthy. You are deserving. All of those things. And then this version of you tells you what to do it says just do it or just step forward just be brave be unattached to the outcome it's a win-win situation no matter what happens right again so fucking what the person denies you so fucking what you don't get the job so fucking what okay something new will come in if it doesn't work out it's not meant to be don't harp on the fact that it's not working out it didn't work out for you because you'll stop the new thing from coming in just say, okay, well, it is, right, the same. It is what it is and let it go. Something new will come right in and to replace it. It has to, that's the laws of the universe. It has to come in. But you have to let the universe know what you want, how you want to be in the world, how you want to show up. You need to let your subconscious know what you want, how you want to show up in the world. So you, every day you got to take a step to be braver, to go towards your goals, to go towards your heart, like follow your heart, things like that. Like if you always want to be a photographer, like go and take some pictures. If you want to be a musician, go and play a guitar, learn some lessons, right? If you've always wanted to do something, just go and do it. So what if you suck at it? So what if it doesn't go anywhere? So what if it fails? So what if you're 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 terrible and it and it doesn't work out? So freaking what? You did it. And then you may find you don't like it, right? And then you just move on. You're like, "Well, that didn't work out. Okay, next thing, right? Life is about lessons. All the, everything is a freaking goddamn lesson, okay? And allow it to be a lesson, but don't let it hold you back 
from being truly happy, right? Truly fulfilled. Because when we're miserable, and if you're miserable right now and you're anxious or depressed or feeling confused or whatever, like you're holding yourself back from all the magic that's out there, right? All the universe wants to give you. The universe really wants to be like, here are all the gifts that you've been asking for. You wanted to manifest, here they are. But if you hold yourself back and say, no, I I, I don't want to do this. It's too scary. I'm too afraid or... Um, you know, it's not going to work out for me, blah, blah, blah. The universe can't give you what you want, right? And you can't give yourself what you want. So you're going to be forever miserable, right? Like my job is to help you to realize that you have this magic within you. You don't need to look elsewhere for it. You just need to step out of your comfort zone, step out and be like, Hey, freak it. If it doesn't work out, who gives a shit? Do you know how long it takes people to do that? It's, it's like when they wake up in their mid forties or fifties, right? And they have a midlife crisis. The reason they have a midlife crisis is for a lot of different reasons. Um, one of them is that they're wearing so many masks for so long that they can't hold up this facade of who they uh, portray themselves as a, in the world, right? And another reason is they realize they never did what they really wanted to do. They didn't go for that the girl or guy. They didn't go for that job. They did, they did what other people wanted them to do. They didn't do what they wanted to do. They didn't want to be brave in that specific scenario. Being brave is following your heart, following your soul, following your intuition, right? Following what feels good for you. Um, and they feel so unfulfilled. So when they reach this point in time, they're so freaking miserable. <laughs> and that's when they, you know, buy a sports car or start going to the gym or, or uh, you know, wh whatever they do at midlife crisis. Some of you have like a uh, quarter year crisis, which is fine. Um, the, actually, in fact, the more crises you have, the better it's going to be for you because you're going to be able to let go of the facade that you wear, right? The mask that you wear, you're going to be able to let go and just say, frick it, I don't want to die unhappy. <laughs> I want to die happy and fulfilled. I want to say I went for my goals, even if they failed. I want to say that I, I talked to this person or I did that thing or I traveled or I went here and there and that fulfilled me. So what if it didn't work out? But I learned all these things. I met all these people. I had such wonderful experiences. Like you want to, to be brave so that your life is more magical, right? It's more in line with who you are. And you realize that you are truly capable of anything, right? We only use a, a, a I think it's like 10% of our brain. So that leaves a whole 90% of our brain that is untapped into, right? And and you only use the, the traits or characteristics that you have um, that you have access to or that you think. So I'll give an example. Like if you believe that you are motivated, right? Um, you will use that trait and you will be motivated in certain things. But if you believe that you're lazy, right? You're going to continue to be lazy, right? Um, but you also have a motivated trait somewhere inside you, inside your brain. There's a motivation trait that you have. I'm not sure if I'm using those words right, but that, that is there. Okay, all you have to do is access that trait and bring it back in and replace it, right? You're not lazy, okay? You're just in your head. You're like cheating and I, like in your head, you're lazy. The laziness is like procrastination, okay? But you're not lazy and certain things you are motivated. So pull that trait back in and remind yourself you are motivated. You know, you are, you know, determined to do certain things when the situation arises that's right for you. A lot of times laziness comes from things that we, uh, you know, things that aren't aligned or we don't feel like doing or we... Um, what's the word that don't feel good for us, right? And that's a sign sometimes that, you know, maybe certain things aren't for you, right? Uh, you're, you're not living your life the way you want to live it. Um, maybe you're living it the way you, your parents want you to live it or your spouse wants you to live it. Like maybe you are doing those things based on other people's opinions and thoughts and yada, 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 all their yuck. Start living based on, you know, what you want to do. Um, I know I feel lazy when I don't want to do something because it doesn't feel good for me, right? This feels good for me. It does, I don't feel like it's effort. I don't feel like it's draining. You know, I don't feel like it's those things. I feel like it's, it's exciting for me, right? Like I want to be here and talk to nobody at this point. You know, like it doesn't matter. I just feel like this expressive thing, like I, it, it's not difficult for me to come on here right it, it's it 
there were other things in my business, um, you know, that felt draining and felt exhausting and it, and it was unmotivating and frustrating. Now, granted, there's a little bit of difference if you're frustrated because you're learning something new or, you know, it's just something not for you, but a lot of laziness comes from that. So anyway, what I'm saying is just find the characteristics and traits from different versions of you in the multiverse, right? And the ones that are inside your head, because you do have these traits that you're looking for. You do have bravery, right? You do have courage. You do have strength. You do have power. It's just right now you don't feel like that, right? So you're not tapping into that untapped part of you, right? So tap into it. Remember the times where you were brave, where you were courageous, where you did take a leap of faith, right? And it did work out in your favor, or you learned something, you know, tap into that part of you that that you put to the side, right? And then when you are stepping into this this new thing, whatever that is, and you're trying to be brave and you're and you're trying to step into your power, like focus on the fact that you are doing it, right? That you are living what feels right for you, right? You are doing what feels right for you. You're not holding yourself back. Like you're just going for it, right? You you, you just want to do it to feel really good, right? Um, and if that's all you got out of whatever you guys are going through right now, then just step out and just do it, right? Because it feels good for you. You know, it might be scary. It might be fucking terrifying, right? You might be <laughs> scared shitless. But fear and excitement are are almost one in the same, right? They they accompany each other, right? Think about when you go down a water slide or a roller coaster, right? Like you're scared and excited at the same time. So a lot of times it's going to be that way, right? When you are fearful of something, you're also excited about it. So tap into the excitement about that. Things might go right, right? Things might work out the way you want it to. You might become the person that you wanna be. You might be with the person you wanna be. You might be happy, you might be fulfilled, right? Doing something out of your comfort zone is taking a risk. It's scary and exciting at the same time. Now, I try to level on the side of this is exciting. Like, I'm stepping into myself. Like, I'm doing whatever. Like, I don't care anymore, right? Instead of being like, no, I'm not going to do that. What if this happens? No, what if I do? And what if it's great, right? Um, what if I fail? Who gives a shit? I fail. I try again. I get up. I keep going. Like, you know, whatever. <laughs> I think we're so upset with ourselves when we fail at something or something doesn't work out for us that it's like so devastating for no reason whatsoever. We feel like it's our fault that we failed. Like it's it's not our fault. It's just a lesson we had to learn or something just didn't work out. Like it's not a reflection of who you are, right? Like it's not like you are the worst person on the planet. You know, you're unworthy or undeserving or anything like that. Like it just got fucked up. Like, okay, so take that. It didn't work work out and just move on. There's something better. There's always something better. There's something else that will work out. So just keep moving forward. Like don't don't keep yourself stuck in a spot where you're afraid to live, right? You're afraid to be you. You're afraid to go for the job, go for the girl, go for the guy, go for the new relationship, go for the money, go for the happiness, go for the fulfillment, go for the travel. Like whatever it is, step into that. So today, um, as we come to our top of our time, I really just want you guys to just be brave. What are you doing that you're not doing because you're like me and Cheaty, stuck in our head, <laughs> worried about the outcome? <laughs> how, can, how can you find, or rather find, the win-win situation here, right, of whatever you're dealing with? Find the win-win situation. Focus on all the possible positive outcomes, right? What if it does go right, okay? And if it does go wrong, then something must go right. Something must go right. So no matter what you decide to do, right? Some of you, I know Catherine uh, who watches, you know, she started singing on Facebook. Like I, I thought she was a great singer when we were in middle school. Like I still remember, I think she sang with Gabby, like Colors of the Wind or something. Like, And now she's singing again. Like that is bravery. Like she's like, I'm going to start singing. Like that is amazing. Like I love your singing. Like just, you know, belt it out, girlfriend. Like, so whatever you're doing, you don't necessarily have to do certain things for money or approval or to impress people. You're doing it for you. You're doing it for you to show yourself you are fully capable to step into your power. You're fully able to be brave and courageous. And, and you're also telling the universe that you want more good things coming your way, that you 
are now stepping into what you want your life to be. So go buy that instrument. You know, go talk to that guy. Go talk to that girl. Go express your feelings. Go tell your mom you love her. You know, go on that trip that you've been putting off. You know, go invest in whatever you want to do. Invest in yourself. Start that business. Like, if it fails, so you learn one way to not do something. <laughs> Right. But at least you listen to your heart and you listen to your soul and you were like, yeah, like this is how I feel. This is what I want. This is what I want to be doing. And I'm going to be brave and go and do it regardless of the outcome. Find some time today to focus on what it is that you're worried about right now. And it is win-win no matter what. The universe always has your back. If things don't work out, it's possible they're not meant to right? And something better is coming along for you. It will always come better. I always ask myself this. My, one of my spiritual coaches said, told me, um, when something goes right or when something goes wrong, always ask yourself, what else is possible and how does it get any better than this? And so I've used that hundreds of times. And the more I say that, how does it get any better than this? What else is possible? What it does is open up your subconscious brain, right? It opens up your brain to endless possibilities. And not only does it do that, but it tells the universe, you're ready for something better. Like, I'm ready to see what else is possible. I'm, re I'm ready to see how does it get any better than this right now? And things will always get better. More possibilities will arise. Uh, solutions to problems you have will come up, right? So. How does it, when a bad thing happens, instead of saying, oh, uh, what do we normally say when something, when lots of bad things happen? We're like, oh God, how many more bad things can happen? Don't say that because more bad things will happen. How does it get any better than this and what else is possible? Even when it's the worst thing ever. When it's the best thing ever, you want to, you don't want to say, oh, how does it, uh, uh, or doesn't get any better than this. Don't say that. You want to say, how does it get any better than this? What else is possible? You want your brain, you want to train your brain that everything is possible. Anything and everything is possible. It opens up the, we're only using 10%, so it's going to start opening up more of your brain power. And not only is that going to do that, it's going to tell the universe that you want more things, right? So, so what is inside your brain is what you put out into the universe and what comes back to you. So make sure that you're always asking yourself these questions and step forward in a scary thing. So be brave. You're going to have that conversation. You're going to apply for that job. You're going to talk to this person. You're going to go out travel. Like, how does it get any better than this? What else is possible? It's a win-win situation for me no matter what. What if it does work out? What if it does work out? Okay, so be brave today in whatever decisions you're trying to make and try to do that every day. Ask yourself these questions. Figure out what your heart is telling you, your soul is telling you, and let it sing. Let it come out. It is safe for you to want to travel, you know, to want love, to want happiness, to do these things, and you deserve it. Tell, let yourself know that you deserve everything. You are worthy. No matter how shitty of a childhood it is, no matter what you did in the past, if you screwed up or you did some shady shit, like, you know, who hasn't? Who hasn't done some shady shit? It doesn't, life is about lessons and learning those lessons, right? We didn't come here like, you know, all goody two shoes. Like we came here to learn lessons. That's really the, the end all be all of it. Every lesson that you've learned. So you made a thousand mistakes. Who cares? Make some more, make some more. Nobody is perfect. We had this conversation in the last video. Like you are, you don't need to be perfect, right? You don't have to, there, there's no reason. And it's it's not even possible. You're going to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to screw up. It's okay to fall down. It's okay to fail. It's okay to, uh, you know, mess up. Like, that is life. You, you don't need to be this perfect person. And you will continually fail and screw up and mess up moving forward. And that's okay. Find the lessons, you know. You are worthy of it. No matter what shady shit you did as a kid or whatever or recently, you know, whatever. You have, you have, you can turn over a new leaf any day. It's never too late. It's never too late to apply for that job, to go for your dreams, to go for the guy or girl or, you know, mend a relationship with somebody. It's never too late to do those things ever, ever. Okay. You can always come back and say, I want to be a singer. I want to be a writer. I want to do this. I want to be a photographer. You know, I want to be a CEO. I want my own business. It's never too late to decide to do this. I don't know if you guys know Louis, Louise Hay. She was like 78 when she started Hay House, uh, Hay House Publishing. She was old as hell, okay? And the woman started one of the most like new age spiritual 
book publishers in the country. Like it is never too late for you to do anything. So what if you didn't go for it years ago? Maybe you weren't ready years ago. You weren't ready. You weren't ready to step into to become a rock star. I don't freaking know. Like maybe now after all the failures and successes and failures and successes, you've decided I want to be a rock star now. Like I got the confidence. I got the skills. I've practiced. Now I want to be a rock star. Like maybe you weren't ready. That's okay. Now you are, right? Don't beat yourself out about what you didn't do, right? Or what you did do. Okay. You can change it every day. Every moment is a, is a chance for you to start anew. It's never too late to do what you want, what your dreams are, what your heart is telling you to do. It's never too late to do that. Okay. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> I hope this was super helpful for you and that you got something and that you're going to be brave. Again, my job is always to ignite something inside you, to show you that you are truly powerful, you are truly magical, the world is magical, and all you need to do is tap into yourself, tap into your heart. Everything you need is inside and let it come out. Be you, be unique, be brave, be bold, okay? God, the universe source, whatever you want to call it, wants you to be brave, wants you to take risks, wants you to t make mistakes, right? Fail, get back up, learn about yourself, be stronger, be braver, right? Be more expressive, be who you are, right? That is what life is about is, is finding yourself, finding your soul, finding who you are. Like go out there, step out there, do something bold, apply for that job, talk to that guy, talk to that girl, go travel, go do something. Just go and be brave, be yourself. Sending you so much light and love, and I will see you tomorrow at 10. Please share with your friends. Um, if you have anything that you need to tell me, please put it in the comments or message me separately. It will help me with the videos moving forward. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. 